Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, the question is: If sum of money is lent out for compound interest for two years at 20% per annum, CIP is recounted yearly. If the same sum of money is uh, lent out at the same interest at the same rate percent per annum, CIP is recounted half yearly. It will have faced rupees 482 more by way of interest. Calculate the sum of money lent out. So this is the question to solve this. So in this question, it is given that the compound interest for the semi-annually portion will be 482 rupees more than the uh, annual portion. So first, write the compound, uh, find out the compound interest annually. So they write annually, and write down all the information. So principal is unknown. So write principal P. Rate of interest given 20 percent per annum. So write 20 percent P A. And the time is given two years. So write time two years. So therefore, we write C I is equal to. So C I formula is uh, third bracket, principal into one plus rate by hundred to the power n minus and again the principal bracket close. So this is the formula. So now we will put down the values. Principal is our P into one plus rate is twenty by hundred to the power n means to the power two minus. So now, in this case, uh, to remove this principal, we take this principal as the common. So if we take this principal as common, so here it is minus. So this principal will become minus one. So this will be the uh, annually for one portion. Uh, we solve it one by five. So principal into so one plus one by five that will be equal to six by five. So six by five to the power two minus one. So now principal into So six square we all know that is thirty six by twenty five minus one. So principal into take twenty five as the LCM thirty six minus again twenty five. That will equal to principal into eleven by twenty five. So this will be the uh, compound interest for the annual portion. So now I will find out for this semi annually. So therefore I write here semi annually. For that principal is equal to p unknown rate of interest. So in the semi annually portion, we usually uh, divide the rate of interest by two. So here, if the rate of interest is twenty percent per annum, so divided by two will become it will ten percent here, and the time will be equal to. So and the semi annually multiply the time by two. So here, if it is two, so two into two time is equal to four. So therefore, right C I is equal to. Principal into one plus rate by hundred to the power n minus again the principal bracket close so principal into one plus rate by hundred rate um, value is ten by hundred to the power four minus common minus one so cut the zeros here so it becomes principal into so one plus one by ten will become eleven by ten. To the power four minus one, so principal into so eleven to the power four, so eleven into eleven one twenty one, one twenty one into eleven one three three one, and uh, again one three three one into eleven that will be one four six four one. So this will be eleven to the power four by ten to the power four. That means it will gain four zeros minus one. So principal into thousand. Sorry, ten thousand one four six four one minus again ten thousand. That will be first principal into four six four one by ten thousand. So this will be the value for this semi annual portion. So now therefore you can write that therefore this semi annual portion we write principal into four six four one by thousand ten thousand. Now minus the annually portion that we got p into eleven by twenty five. So in this equation, the minus value is given four hundred eighty two. So if we solve this equation, we will get the value of in the principal. So here also we take the principal as common. Mm-hmm.
that 241p by 10,000 will be equals to 482 so now this full number will go for division to decide so only p remains is equals to 482 so divided by 241 by 10,000 so division means you all know that this number will go for reciprocal this number so principal is equals to 482 so 10,000 will go up so into 10,000 by 241 so now you can clearly see that 241 can directly cut 482 1 by 2 so principal is equal to 2 into 10,000 that is equal to rupees 20,000 so therefore this is the principal so this is the final answer for this question so guys thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solution